Dude, what, what, what is this language? <laughs> what? Uh, like, like, go back to their lives afterwards, like, uh, try to be integrated in society and all that crap. That's more of what a criminologist do, but by all means, go ahead. Okay, well, uh, it's like a person who studied psychology and is talking to criminals, convicted people, and uh, lower their sentence and everything. That's the kind of stuff that... that what's that job? It's a forfeit. Yeah? Are you French-Canadian? Yeah. Look it over. He's from the Canadian kind. Oh god, so, incoming, so, incoming romantic language of France, huh? You I'm a read. Come to to pay. I'm not gross, right, guys? Oh, hold up, I get it. I'm obviously, I'm obviously French. Obviously. Jello. 100%. French bread? I want the fucking music play. Why won't my goddamn music play? Can you guess my species? Can you guess my age and ethnicity? No, you probably can't. I can. No, but okay, you can't guess my speech. I can guess it, doesn't mean it's gonna be right. <laughs> You're fucking Asian. Teddy. It's Teddy. Who no. said I was from Asia? Interesting. You're just a mutt, dude. <laughs> so oh, crap, dude. A dirty, a dirty mutt. Disgusting. How about a knife? I got a knife. You got a knife? Wow, that's so interesting. Wow. It sounds like an exacto. It sounds like a butterfly knife. It's just a butterfly knife. Yeah. Who the fuck's in the front of this? So, basically, uh, basically what they do is they, they integrate everyone except sex offenders back to their, back to their life after. So, that's like, you get, a sh you get a shit life after being convicted, but at least, if you're not a sex offender, you're probably not gonna be chipped. And that's about it. You should be chipped if you're a sex offender and if you're a pedophile. That should be you should be yeah, those crazy motherfuckers. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, that's exactly what Canada I don't do. care. You can release a murderer, but don't release a guy that wants to rape a little boy. I'm just saying. Don't release the first. Don't release the first. Bruh, but what about me? People kill people don't care about me. They'll get to people. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's why I draw the line. It's pedophiles. Pedophiles don't exist. Yeah. I, I could care less if you're a drug addict or whatever. As long as you're not the a idea of pedophile exists, not actual pedophile. Actually, so we got a sentence in Quebec that crazy guy, he was a cardiologist, and he killed both of his kids in it, uh, with a toaster in the back. And he got, <laughs> and he got, and he got sentenced for, uh, for mental illness for like 10 years, and now he's gonna remain like all of his life after uh, after second court discussed it he's gonna remain all of his fucking life in jail and when he's gonna come back he's never gonna have a fucking life like it's gonna be a fucking nightmare for him to even like there was another girl who was uh, who was exiled to a fucking other country like the Caribs or something caribbean and uh, she got tracked by journalists there and she was trashed in the media now she's she's just a fucking wreck like those lives never come back, guys. No pity that about ten. Oh years. Christ, dude, take a breath. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Hear about that fucking case where a drunk driver in Canada killed some like father's daughter, and he only got four months in the service or something like that. Or nice. She, I mean, it's fucked. Well, you got a fucking cop in this channel who was oh, actually. Well, geez, yeah, of course you have it. Of course you have a fucking opinion on this. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is actually saying so if the kid is like under 25 years, if the kid is under 25 years old and he's from my uh, from my city, I'm never gonna jail him or something. I'm just gonna give him a death or something. I won't destroy his life. So my point guy did that. Yeah, it's fun. He's yeah, that, yeah. I know. I know that's fucking dumb. I, I think that people no, who are. Wrong. Yeah. Well, uh, if you're if you're doing you or something. No, I think that is stupid that that cop was saying that the other day. Uh, my yeah, point behind yeah. it is that it happens in America more than you think. Hey, 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 but that prime minister, the Canadian prime minister, though, dude. Ugh. Oh, right? okay. He's always better than Stephen Harper. Because he killed fucking, uh, fucking people with his ministers. Wait, what's wrong with Stephen Harper? Well, uh, Stephen Harper created the lobby of, uh, of, oil, of oil, and uh, have you ever heard about Lake Atabasca? Have you ever heard about Lake Atabasca? 
No, uh, tell what, what's that? Uh, explain. <laughs> uh, it's it's super known in California. Basically, what they did was destroy the uh, the Amerindian community by adding 25 percent, uh, 25 times the arsenic level in the lake, and they got cancerous uh, cancerous fishes and everything because of the level of arsenic. I'm a geologist, so show the fuck. No, I'm kidding. But yeah, I'm a geologist. So my point is that uh, destroy like a, a whole community of uh, Amerindians. Just by I mean, the story saying that fucking lake at Alaska was not producing any kind of nation. I'm Amerindian, you mean Americans, right? You think you could elaborate on that last statement? I yeah. didn't really follow it. Well, it's super easy. Basically, they made a study. <laughs> they made a study. They made a study on the snow. <laughs> so if the snow is uh, if the snow is contaminated by our city because it has been produced by the chimneys, therefore it has been uh, 25 times the amount of arsenic that was found in the lake wasn't the degradation of the. Wait, oh, was man. it was it proven to be 25 times the amount, or was it proven 25? No, it was 20. Times? It was 27 times the amount of. Oh, 27. Sorry, I've completely heard that. Wait, it's not 25. Yeah. No, 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 it was 27 yeah. times we, the amount of. We heard of that. Man. Yeah, sorry. Hey, you just took it out. You should just like middle it out. Yeah, make it 26 times. Um, so far he's teaching us all about the world. Yeah, dude. He's he's oh, pretty smart. Yeah. He's a geologist. Oh, yeah. Shit. And I have a bachelor degree in management as well, so I'm like Wait. double graded at university. What? Whoa. Can you explain the um, Bermuda Triangle to me? How many how many genders are there? Can't believe it's fine. Oh, that's a good well, point. there's actually multiple genders, but there are two genders. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Damn, dude. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's. Well, somebody that's right now. Okay. You're you're amazing. Yeah. This is one sharp cookie, dude, I gotta say. Hey, why is the sky blue? I need you! Because... Uh, Stumped him. But yeah, basically, uh, I think that it's all relative to what the media has told you, because you guys are not happy traders for us, so what it's just you, relative. Uh, and I live in America like six months a year because my wife is there. So you know I think Well, you I said it's that all it's relative, but what yeah, if it's all yeah. contextual? Uh, it must be more contagious than con contextual, I think. It's more the symbological violence that has been applied to our media everywhere in the world to compete every country against each other. Yeah, just research, it's a study made by, I studied that in management, symbological violence is a study that has been made by a French guy to uh, the end of Third World War, actually. Yeah, it was a study that has been... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, after that, two cars, they that was the one that was, uh, was that the one on the lunar base? No, actually, actually, after that two more wars, they decided that. The first wave. They're all either dead or MIA. So this is up to us. The why we need to get it together right now. JTF 68 the tower, visual Hudson. Yeah, two division agents on board. The next closer was their right end. Okay, clear to land. ATF 68. Usually you need some time to know if you can count on someone. Well, we're out of time. I bet's on you. It has to be. I hope to God I'm right. Welcome to Hudson Bears. I'm not sure what you're looking to get out of this. Everything behind this gate is a goddamn war zone. So who's in command? Captain Benitez was in charge. He was leading out to the post office, but we lost contact when he left base this morning. If he's still ready, he'll sign the fire tomorrow. There's talk of pulling out. No one's pulling out. We're taking this city back. Get whatever gear you need. I'll catch up with you. Good luck out there. Y'all made it. All research in order <laughs> to contain the knowledge of... too complicated for me to understand. Uh, basically, basically, if you found that whales in Alaska, if you found that... If you found that whales in fucking North Canada were killed because of uh, petroleum, for example, you could not go to a media researcher and say like, look, that's my study, you have to pass down on uh, CBC or something like that. 
he would have a mandatory law upon this and would say like even the private media could not have any any words to say on that so for 10 years we've been totally blacking out from any research on scientific discoveries and Trudeau is the first one who did that back <laughs> No, don't, no, no, hey, just let him, hey, just let him stop talking, maybe he'll, maybe he'll just wear himself out. Wait, wait, what keep talking, dude. Dude, I heard that fidget spinners are fucking dangerous in Canada, like, people were getting injured from them. <laughs> actually, you can up in those fidget spinners. Actually, I, I heard that fidget spinners are absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> no proof science to know what I'm kidding. <laughs> It, Come on, it, man. Since I'm autistic, will a fidget spinner help my autism? Uh, actually, yeah, it'll, actually it'll doing, anything, autism. doing anything like shaking your, shaking your legs while you're doing an exam would work it as well. Ten times better because you're having more physical... Uh, just, uh, running, man, would help you ten times better. And yeah, shaking you your legs run. would... What about stabbing people who talk too much? Is that a good way to do that? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. But yeah, basically, uh, that's like sometimes just, I have these like like spasms where I just shake my hands, you know. Yeah, but just shaking your legs while you're doing an exam without I'm fucking really coordinated though. I don't know about running, dude. It's kind of no, but no, but I mean like kind of uh, intense, man. You probably yeah, wait, what's the science up behind that? Dopamine. Science behind that? Dopamine. That's the right. science. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck is dopamine, dude? What is dopamine? Dopamine is what creates ADHD, God, and it's not for autism. It's for ADHD or wait, something. I don't know what dopamine is. Dopamine is for ADHD. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, you lack dopamine when you are ADHD. Wait, no, dopamine's a natural. Oh, no, you yeah, shut the fuck up and let the teacher no, no, talk. No, 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 hold on. Dopamine's a natural chemical that your body produces whenever you hentai, like. Hey, hentai. Hentai. Fuck hentai. Out. You're missing the joke, dude. Okay. Shut <laughs> the fuck out. Yeah, basically dopamine is produced by the body and you like it when you're ADHD. <laughs> so they give you dopamine called Ritalin. That's Thank it. you, Sephoric, for getting this joke back on track. But Thank running you. just creates like 10 times the dopamine of Ritalin for a normal person and it gives you more health, so why not? Yeah, I, stopped Ritalin. I, I, st I stopped Ritalin after my grades, basically, because I was too lazy to run and I was playing video games. But then I started running, I started jogging, and I could say that my life spent time better than being on speed and gaining 20 pounds when I stopped it. This is so like a commercial for me, man. Yeah, hey. the anti-commercial, basically, but yeah. <laughs> I tried that Ritalin, Concerta, and they didn't want it to give me Adderall because Adderall is made for speed addicts that are oh, just ADHD well, because of it. I have to take I have to take a Vivens because both don't work for me. Wait, Adderall's not even related to speed. What are you talking about? I mean, I mean, if you're a speed addict or anything, and you have high concentration problem, they will give you Adderall because you will be able to focus more because your brain is probably more screwed than you ever thought it would be. So they are in Canada. They are like super, super knowledgeable about that shit, and they are like, well, I said, I said to my doctor, like, why wouldn't you give me Adderall? And he said, we only give that to speed addicts. Like, who are stopping speeds and want to study, study and be better at school? Yeah, they give that like for Hang three on. months and then they speak too much. They speak too so, much and so they speak over their hand. Yeah, they so they stop by ticks, by ticks and everything. Hey, Sephoric, you're, you're you said you're a geologist, right? Yeah. So, what? can you tell me some stuff about like bismuth? Bismuth? Well, bismuth yeah. can be can be made in laboratory, and it's super fucking rare in real life. So I gave bismuth to my daughter because I thought that it was the best gift to give her ever. It's not that rare. It's like twenty dollars yeah. on eBay. <laughs> bismuth? Like yeah. original bismuth or fucking? Yeah, like pure bismuth. No, that's laboratory bismuth. Yeah, Does you can buy like pure bismuth on eBay for like twenty dollars. That's fucking Ooh, rare, though. Is it laboratory grade? Yeah, uh, la yes, laboratory cool. grade. Pure. Laboratory grade is common, like it doesn't cost anything, but proper bismuth, like it comes into nuggets instead of uh, crystals, and people don't want crystals. Uh, they don't want nuggets, they want crystals, actually. And those are kind of really precious. But I know a little bit about it. But what I know more is about glaciers and everything, because I studied environmental. Is it true that we're, uh, 
Is it true that we are currently in a, in a glacial period? Of yeah, we're grazing glacial period, and since the 19s, we stopped adding the increase of the glaciers by melting them slowly. Mm -hmm. so basically, we're stronger than the first. Right now. Wait, is is it true that we're currently in a mass extinction era? Extinction era. I don't know. I'm not a sociologist. Mm -hmm. Is it true that the Earth is flat? <laughs> well. I, I went to I went to Japan. I went to Australia. I went to fucking uh, uh, Guinea, and I, I went to the United States. States. Yes. I never fell, so <laughs> that's flat, dude. Oh yeah, this is to check out the flat Earth Society. They have members yeah. all around the globe. Yeah, you see the thing is, the reason you don't want the Earth is because you don't go far enough. The Earth is definitely flat. You just go far enough. Yeah, it's like a pizza. It's like a pizza. Yeah, you watch them, Earth of the Caribbean. They fell off the Earth. That means, that means it's true, right? Right. Yep. I support that statement. And that's why, uh, you know, terrorism is bad because of the Fast and the Furious. Yeah, I heard it's really bad in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. Seriously, people speed with cars a lot. I just can't believe that boat sank in Titanic. Yeah, I thought it was unsinkable, dude. They even said it was unsinkable at the beginning of the film. It's because, because of the glacier's anger. They lied. They fucking lied. Yeah, okay, you're you're a geologist that likes glaciers. Why are glaciers such dickholes? Yeah. Why'd they fucking kill thousands of people? Yeah. <laughs> Why don't they just stay the fuck up there and like give me water? It's not it's not what you can do for it's not what you can do for you what the glacier can do for the people, it's more what the pe what the gla people can do for the glaciers. No way, dude. The glaciers have like frozen people and then we had to dig them up and put them in a the museum. Yeah, why say murderers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> like you mojito in the glaciers. They gave you mojito as well. Mm -hmm. What are you saying? You saying it's hard for the glacier? Yeah. Let's be real. I mean, I'm all about China. volcanoes, so... Like, well, they're, yeah. kind of, they're kind of like the arch nemesis of glaciers, aren't they? Well, Yellowstone is fucking yeah. scary right now, so I don't know what is the doom of the earth, but... Yellowstone yeah. is fucking scary, man. My last oh, name is the lake of the... My, my last name is actually the lake of the lake... Fuck you. My last name... <laughs> <laughs> my last name is the name of the fucking lake on top of Yellowstone. Oh, God. That's weird, isn't it? Your, your last name is alert. lake on top of Yellowstone. <laughs> That's a pretty long last name. That's a pretty long last name. That's awesome. So I studied geology. Hey, it's Jack. What the hell? What are you doing? Hey, little Rick. Hey, little Rick Morty. What's up? So yeah, little Rick. Basically, I had a lot of fun. But we've got the guy who wrote everything on Wikipedia in here. It's a work, dude. I don't know if you're like trolling me or something. Well, that's awesome. Well, good. Now I can warn you about the thing. And so all of a sudden, the season of the stops. stop. This is UDD, Rick Will Rick Morty. Nation. Hey. Yeah, basically there are like 10,000 ways for the humanity to extend, so I'm not even sure if the humanity itself will cause it. But I'm sure that we're not helping. Viruses. Can you tell me there's a Nazi base on the moon? On the dark there's side of the moon. There's always a Nazi base on the moon. In 2020, there will be a Nazi base on Mars, though. Oh, shit. Have you ever heard that we're gonna have a fucking TV reality about people living on Mars forever? No, I'm sure. Seriously, no. That's just the You're lying. But then you're not to the moon. Guys, come on. It's gonna be staged in, like, Arizona. When I was in geology, they were actually hiring people over the internet. That's like the, a consortium of billionaires that want to create a reality show about that, and they hired people from all the fields of knowledge that wanted to go live their life in, uh, as team workers there. So it's going to be a TV reality show that is going to be made like because of it. Got your back. Just try not to shoot at anyone who's trying to help you. Over. Alert. 
Arabic is very, in, you know, so-called intelligent people. They said that people would make such a stupid decision to go to the moon. Well, I mean, you know, have you been here before? Yeah, no, I guess. We shall end up the phone here. Yes. From all over the world, not only from America. So sick of that. Yeah. Yeah, and oh, I hate that you live I'll take my chances you. with no atmosphere. Yeah, there's no atmosphere that the cause of global warming is more. Well, the problem with it is that they're gonna send people in one time because of um, access to the world. It's not a sphere. It's not a sphere. There's a sphere. It's a sphere. Yeah, I don't know. I heard there was like a. Um, a robot Hitler riding a T-Rex in the middle